Oh, good morning. I think it's day 27. Or is it 28? What was yesterday? I don't know. But it's the morning of uh, the hostel that I stayed at last night. And right now, I just got some my tent drying out. They didn't have any any more bunks in the hostel, so I had to stay in the tent. Um, which is cool because it's a lot cheaper to tent at the hostel. But you still get full use of all the amenities and all that. Um, only downside is when you sleep on the grass in the tent, you get some condensation. And you got to let your stuff dry out. But um, it's about 7 in the morning right now. Uh, I had some real coffee. Then I had some more real coffee. Had a real breakfast sandwich. It was delicious. Um, the plan is at eight o'clock. I'm gonna get dropped off back uh, where I hitchhiked in. And uh, I don't know, I'm gonna try to do about, I don't know, somewhere between 15 and 20 miles today. I'd like to do 20, but when you don't start the hike until like nine o'clock, it can be a little tough to get 20 in. Uh, when you include like taking little breaks and stuff, but I do have oh, this big old bitch, my big old food bag right here. I ain't gonna run out of food again. That thing is heavy. That thing's heavy right there. Uh, I'm almost all packed up. Let's see if I can show you. I'll leave my clothing bag in there. This little guy here. It's just a little safe proof in case it rains. This bag's supposed to be waterproof, but sometimes that fails. So you have the little, little bag liner in there just to make sure your stuff stays dry. You don't want a wet sleeping bag, that's for sure. Um, I'm gonna fill up these water bottles. Uh, I got all my stuff charged up. Sent some videos out to Deb. Uh, you know, last step is really just gonna be uh, rolling up this tent and stuffing it in my bag. Um, other than that, I'm kind of just chilling until about 8 o'clock, so I get some time to relax. Might even, uh, send out a couple messages back home. Um, and that's pretty much it, man. But, uh, this is the morning of a hostel. By the way, this is called Wanderlust Hostel. Really awesome hostel. Super clean, super organized. Um, it's another, like, all the hostels I've been to, well, there's only been a couple out here, but they've both been really fucking good. That one in Leadville, in the clouds, and then this one, Wanderlust Hostel. Awesome hostels, man. Um, it's just like staying in a, it's like staying in a motel, but it's a house, and everybody's super nice. <laughs> it's not like a, it's not like a motel where people are just weird. I don't know, I don't know how to put that, but anyway. I'm gonna finish getting packed up here. Got the guitar chilling. Here she is. All right, y'all. Got nothing but love for you. And I'll holler at you back when I get on the trail. Okay, so we finally got the ride back to trail. Took a little longer than anticipated waiting for the uh, the mountain bike girl, but it's all good. It's about 11.30 now. We're gonna try to do about 13 miles. And then we got these awesome cows here. That one looked kind of mean. You can go first. Why are you mean? Oh, there's one right in the trail there, huh? I know, I'm not getting close to the cows. All right. Look at him, he's yeah. like, I don't know if he wants to play or if he wants to. <laughs> yeah, he don't give a shit about us. All right, so I kind of messed up. I told Grizz that we were further ahead on the trail than we actually were by accident. Um, so we don't want to try to catch him today. There's water. There's a little water here. That's not water you really want to drink out of. You don't have to with all these cows around it. But uh, I'm just going to leave this camera on here as I go up there. I mean, the trail's like five feet within this cow. I don't know how they react to people. I really don't know about cows at all. Hey, buddy. What's that, man? God, that is a big animal. Ooh. All right. We're going to make our way along this trail here. Got nothing but love for you. And I'll check in later. I think it's day, day 27. All right, y'all. 
All I can say about this piece of trail is at least it's flat. We can get some miles done on it. But it is scorching hot right now. The sun is just barreling down on me. Uh, not a whole lot of shade to be had. A little shade right here though. If I wanted to stop. Dude, it is dry up here. This is definitely a desert. The look of it almost looks like back home, like Delaware or Jersey. Like once you get a few miles inland from the beach, you get like these real dry pines with this like sandy type of soil. That's exactly what it looks like actually. Uh, just wanted to show a little bit of this trail. It's kind of like a weird like gravel road. I don't know what else uses this road. Maybe like for logging, I think, maybe. But uh, I can actually see, you probably see them too, like the imprints on the ground from like a bulldozer or some type of tractor or something. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna try. I've been thinking a lot out here. And one thing people ask me about when it comes to like, when I tell them about these long hikes I do, you know, after they get through the normal like, Oh, where do you go to the bathroom? How do you resupply and eat? And what do you eat? How do you get showers? That kind of stuff. Sometimes just people start asking me like, well, what do you think about when you're walking all by yourself out there? I always say I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to talking about what I think about out here. And I always forget. So I'm gonna try real hard when I get to camp. I'll maybe share some of it with you. You do it now, but once you're six, seven miles into a really hot hike, you get what I call hiker brain, and it's hard to it's hard to really like lay out your thoughts like in an intelligent way. You kind of just spew out words that sometimes do, sometimes don't make sense. So yeah, I'll try to think about, talk about what I've been thinking about, but. Uh, one thing I've been thinking about a lot lately is my sister Stephanie. And uh, just like the selflessness, not selfishness, selflessness, which she lives her life, man. Gotta be more like her. I'm getting more of that. I think about my boy John Carr a lot too. That's one of my best friends. That's my best friend. I think about where he's been, where he's come, what he's doing now. I'll share some of that. I think a little bit about this COVID shit too. I'll tell you what, it's really easy to forget about it when you're out here hiking for days and then you get into a town, you see everybody wearing a mask and you're like, oh yeah, there's a fucking pandemic going on. Crazy. Uh, uh, I have some thoughts on that too. So, I don't know. I'll get back with you. Just wanted to show this trail, share a little bit of my thoughts, and mostly remind myself to sit down with the camera at camp and maybe divulge some of my more intelligent or less intelligent thoughts. Probably more or less intelligent. But uh, anyway, got nothing but love for you. All you need to know right now is while this trail might be flat, it is hot. It's hot out here, boy. Oh, yeah. I feel like, I feel like a hand warmer in a microwave right now. It's just hot. All right, y'all, number love. In case you didn't think it was dry out here, look at this. Scratch, let me see it. Let me see it. Both sides, both of them. Get a little itchy, then you're gonna get some some white skin. Yeah, it is hot out here. Mm. Look at that. It's dry. It's a dry heat. It's not that bad. Kiss my ass. Kiss my ass.
Okay, so we're coming down here. I mentioned uh, maybe once or twice over the last day or two about having to make sure you have water because there might be a water source on your mat that man, maybe it's there, but maybe it's uh, not something you want to drink from. And uh, so you got to kind of conserve your water a little bit in case you come to one of those. I tell you what, I'm glad I got plenty of water on me right now because this is not the kind of water source you want to drink from, even with a filter, unless you absolutely have to. All those speckles that you see, those are all mosquitoes there and flies. And this is like in the middle of like a cow pasture. So it's coming from that runoff right there. Um, so there's like cow shit bacteria and everything in there. The only thing growing in there is mosquitoes and their kids and their grand mosquito kids. <laughs> These ranchers trying to say here. Who does that? I think it's a cow. I think, I don't know, I have no idea. What kind of animal is that? Who the hell knows? Is that just like a cool decoration that somebody thinks is a cool decoration, but it's not? Or is that like, don't come over this fence or we're gonna put your head on this thing? What's that mean? Or does that just mean, hey, there's a dead cow head, we're gonna put it up, we're just gonna put it off the ground and put it on this pole. Karina just went way off subject. I was trying to talk about cow heads, cow skulls on posts. And then she had to point out that we probably have to climb that thing. I don't want to think about that yet. It's a couple days away. But yeah, these are the Colorado Plains. When you walk across Colorado, you gotta walk across the Colorado Plains, apparently. You don't know what you're gonna get when you start walking across the state. <laughs> All right, I'm below for it. Dude. There it is. Nothing but a Karina, an F word, and like a cow about a mile away. This shit is desolate. Usually, on any given day, we'll pass, or we'll be passed by eh, 10 to 20 hikers. Well, we see one. One hiker today, Karina? Yeah. We saw one hiker and then the mountain biker girl that was in the uh, the ride that we got to get the trail today. That's it. What the hell happened, everybody? And then one thing, that big old sloppy back there. We have our name on it. Yeah. Looks like a great pyramid. A pyramid of Giza or some shit. Like, like King Tut's dad might be buried there. King Tut and Common Senior. I'm afraid to go over that mountain, Karina. I feel like there might be like a trap door in there or some shit. And like, Indiana Jones is gonna be in there fighting some Nazi or something. <laughs> King Tutankhamun Sr., the ghost of, the mummy of. Come get, come get you. One more look at that thing. Tell me I don't look like one of the Great Pyramids from the distance. Hoo wee. All right. Well, if we gotta go through it or over it, we will. All right, y'all. Number love for you.